Hello everybody from Plant Reviews, today 11th of May, uh, mid spring, and today I will talk about one of my indoor succulent plants that uh, is actually related to some of the garden plants I have uh, in uh, the garden. This is indeed is a, a kind of squill, the silver squill, uh, also known uh, well, by the scientific name of, of Ledeboria socialis or the synonym the Silla violacea. Ledeboria socialis is a species in the family Asparagaceae and it is um, related to um, the uh, squills, as I said. So is a relative of squills, uh, grape hyacinths and uh, um, hyacinths. The, this, um, is, this plant is famous for, and uh, very sought after, for the very attractive uh, pattern of the leaves. The leaves are kind of silvery with uh, dark green or brown spots. Uh, indeed, the foliage pattern is uh, really striking and is one of the most beautiful patterned plants I have in the uh, apartment, uh, sorry, at home in the house. Uh, this species uh, is uh, also not only uh, very beautiful, but it's also actually very, very easy to keep, uh, like most succulents. Uh, the species is uh, endemic in of the Eastern Cape province in South Africa, uh, and it is distributed in evergreen woodlands and uh, scrub forest. Uh, it is a very common plant, so it's not uh, in endangered in the, in the wild. Uh, and uh, it is uh, it has been, it has been uh, cultivated uh, for uh, several decades. Um, the name is actually a kind of a long uh, history. The, the plant was described at first as Silla socialis uh, and is dedicated to um, um, sorry, Silla socialis uh, by Baker in 1896. Um, however, uh, it was later found that uh, this uh, plant uh, was not actually uh, very closely related to Silla. So uh, Jessop uh, decided to reclassify the plant in another genus called Ledeboria in 1970 in honor of the botanist Carl Friedrich von, von, uh, von Ledebor. Um, and it was um, therefore moved to Ledeboria, Ledeboria socialis. In the meantime, in horticulture, uh, there were uh, developed uh, different strains of the plant, and the plant, that is the upper leaf markings, uh, as I said, between green and silver, uh, with uh, dark green or dark brown spots, has a different population, some with uh, purple under leaf, like the ones that I have, as you can see, and some other greens. And in horticulture, the uh, one with purple under leaf was uh, called uh, Lediboria violacea or Silla uh, violacea, and that's the reason why I have two plants that, as you can see, are precisely the same, um, the, um, precisely the same species, uh, with, with not only a different species name, but actually a different genus name. So it puzzled me very much because I was wondering how could uh, these two plants so strikingly similar belong to different species and different genuses until I found that actually was uh, uh, just the same species uh, instead reclassified. So the term violacea was just an horticulture term to um, actually identify the um, uh, purple underleaf uh, of the plant. Uh, the, um, however, the real name it is Ledeboria socialis. Uh, the term, uh, the term uh, is um, socialis, of the scientific name, uh, comes from the Latin and means social, due to the fact that the plants, the bulbs of the plants, grow very close to each other, as you can well see. Uh, I've been keeping these plants for about uh, three years I bought the plant on the left, uh, correctly labeled as Lediburia socialis, at a cactus and succulent fair in Whitstable uh, in April uh, 2017, uh, while the, I bought this one, the so-called Scylla violacea, uh, by 
um, Klessen Orchideen uh, in March 2017. Uh, so they are both about uh, three years uh, old. Uh, the, um, it is a very peculiar bulbous plant because unlike uh, many other bulbous plant, the bulb is mostly above the ground and uh, this is uh, probably due ecologically uh, uh, is due to the fact that uh, this plant uh, in nature grows in uh, very uh, rocky areas that uh, have a very shallow um, layer of uh, ground of uh, soil therefore it adapted to grow mostly uh, mostly above the soil um, also uh, it is a plant that uh, is very very adaptive to um, adapted to resist to drought what happens in this case is that plants lose the leaves and then the leaves reappear where the conditions are more uh, favorable the um, leaves uh, are triangular uh, lanceolate uh, about 5 to 7 centimeters long and about 1 1.5 uh, centimeters wide uh, the pattern of the leaves can vary uh, my plants uh, do actually look uh, pretty similar. Uh, this one uh, is probably uh, more uh, silvery uh, greyish, while the other one is more greenish. And they both have uh, dark uh, green spots. The one on the left, they are a bit brighter green, while the ones on the right, uh, they are more like brownish green. Um, however, uh, the pattern the leaf pattern varies also by the um, stage of leaf growth as you can see uh, these leaves in the plant on the left uh, it is the same specimen but are actually much paler kind of resemble the plant on uh, the um, on the other side while uh, this very newly uh, grown leaf is almost uh, unpatterned as you can see so even in the same specimens the pattern might be different uh, according to the uh, leaf growth stage and obviously different individuals have different uh, uh, leaf, uh, um, leaf pattern uh, the flowers are uh, born on a flower spike uh, uh, on only one flower spike per bulb uh, I have been keeping this plant for three years and it bloomed every spring uh, even if the flowers are not particularly showy however they are uh, very uh, elegant as you can see here one second I hopefully try to luckily this the flower spike do not grow uh, really vertical so I will try to hold it with my hand and try hopefully to focus on them okay I'm not able to do it uh, okay I'll try maybe this way sorry guys it is a bit difficult to focus okay perfect okay as you can see the flower spike is uh, bears between 10 and 30 little florets the flowers are mostly uh, green uh, and white it looks a pattern of uh, white and stripes white and green uh, they are connected to the main flower stalk, stalk uh, with a whitish peduncle that becomes purplish uh, at the attachment of the peduncle with the flower and uh, it has also uh, anthers that are purple uh, with stamens uh, with yellow stamens uh, the plant, the flower, uh, the flowers of this plant are not fragrant. However, uh, they are usually able to uh, attract uh, insects around, and a couple of times I had some seeds from uh, this plant. Uh, this plant is certainly not grown for the flowers, as you can see. The flower spike is quite diminutive in comparison to the plant uh, whose main attraction is actually the leaves but surely it is a nice addition to the uh, plant when you see the flower i really think it is a very elegant flower very very uh, peculiar 
um, about uh, the uh, conditions I grow this plant. Uh, the plants are, uh, they need absolutely full sun, indeed. I grow this plant in a south facing uh, windowsill. I moved it uh, here in the north facing windowsill just uh, to make uh, this video because it, the light illumination was actually better for the shooting uh, the video and uh, this plant as I said blooms uh, usually for me in spring uh, the plant on the left has several flower stalk one is uh, almost completely faded but it has other one two three four five uh, six flower stalk while the other one is uh, just now developing a flower stalk as you can see here on this yeah on the left bulb as you can see it is at the very very start uh, the compost of this plant uh, well actually my plant uh, that my plants were sold in two different compost one from class and orchidea is like really strangely sphagnum and bark <laughs> like indeed if it was an orchid while uh, the other one is uh, a very uh, very well drained compost like a succulent compost with grit on the top as you can see i have to say that this plant evidently doesn't mind uh, these uh, two different soils because they are both very well drained even if obviously the bark and sphagnum keeps the uh, condition moist uh, better than the um, well-drained uh, soil of the cacti. However, this plant evidently will get used very easily to these two conditions. So that's another clue of the adaptability of this plant is a very, very, very easy plant to keep as long as you don't uh, uh, waterlog it and uh, it uh, can enjoy uh, full sun uh, it, this plant will be very happy in, the, in your house about uh, the uh, propagation the propagation need to be um, can be done uh, in two different ways either the seeds if the flowers get pollinated uh, or you can pass a as a brush in between the different flowers or maybe if you have some insects sticky, sticking around uh, they can pollinate you will end up anyway with some seeds or the um, plants can be uh, propagated asexually because when the plants uh, bulb, plant bulbs uh, grow up very clumped at some point you need to divide them and I think this year this will be my case as you can see the amount of bulbs I have on each plant here is really impressive in comparison to the size of the pot and I really really need to uh, divide the bulbs and put them in a larger pot or possibly give away some. Uh, I've read also that uh, this plant can uh, resist to minus one degree Celsius in winter as long uh, obviously the conditions are not uh, humid therefore I really wouldn't recommend to keep this plant outside in the UK. Uh, this plant in the UK is definitely better at home indoors in a south facing windowsill uh, with other succulents like cut cacti, forbias, I have uh, stapelias, I have these plants in my south facing windowsill with uh, these other plants and they all uh, look very very happy about the position. I have hardly fertilized this plant and uh, it grew perfectly fine blooming as you can see on the left I have seven flower spikes so it's really a plant that uh, needs very little to be happy at your house if you want a plant with a striker and a striking leaf pattern a plant that uh, you can forget to water every now and then and you can leave if you have a very sunny windowsill and uh, you're not too sure what indoor plants you might uh, need to put uh, there definitely the Lideburia socialis the silver squill is the is a plant very well recommended for you i hope you enjoyed the video and uh, if you would like uh, to subscribe if you enjoyed the video that would be great and uh, i hope to see you soon with my next video bye